All right, today we are going to uh, go through the process of sharpening a saw. And what I'm talking about is one of the old style hand saws. Some of the newer saws on the market today cannot be sharpened on this machine. Uh, that's because the metal is only tempered within about a quarter inch of the, of the teeth here. And they're very hard and brittle and this machine would just uh, tear them up. But the older style saws made by uh, Distin, uh, Simons, uh, Craftsman Sears, they have uh, literally what is called uh, cold rolled tempered steel that you can bend. And uh, what we're going to do today on this machine here is a uh, Foley Bell Saw SS, SF 1000. The Saw Filer 1000, which is uh, the last model they built. And in the past, there were hundreds and thousands of these all over the country with sharpened saws like this. So, first thing you need to do is check and see if you have a straight saw. And I just put it up against something straight. And if it doesn't rock on you, it's straight. There are other bars like this which I've marked that has a crown and the saw goes exaggerated like that and one of these bars works best for that if you're doing a uh, miter saw there's a different bar for a miter saw also it's just how you uh, how you clamp down your miter saw on this piece here. They have these little protrusions right here. But today we're going to use the, the straight bar and Henry's old rusty saw. Uh, first thing you do, you need to set the height of the saw teeth on the machine here. And what you do is here's just two things with a little pin on them, you turn down straight toward the floor. And you bring in your saw and you put it up against it, getting these pins here down into the gullet of the sawtooth. Gullet meaning the bottom. And you clamp it down on there. I like to clamp it down real nice and tight. And then when you're done, just pull back a little bit and raise them up out of the way. And you take this clamp here, press it down, and make it firm against the saw so it doesn't slip or anything. And then you just shove it through to about the first or second tooth on the saw. Uh, one thing I need to point out, the handle always goes to the right when you're putting this on. It, what's that? You don't have to take the handle off. Some you don't have to take the handle off, some you do. It depends on how uh, many times the saw has been filed. And looks like this has been filed a while, so Henry took the uh, handle off. One well, of the first things you do, if you look down in here, I mark every other tooth. And all teeth on these saws are set like this, one way out on one side, one way out on the other. I mark the tooth that is facing toward me that is set out toward me. I just put a simple line with a magic marker here and went down a few this way. Here's the manual here, start on page 15, and read through, I'm on page 24 to 25 now, and it'll help you set up everything you need to do, and one of us here will be to, can help you when you're using this. Once you start wanting to file, 
this has a correct file in it for this size of saw and in the manual it will tell you which size file to use. I'm bringing the file around and what I want to do is look down in here and try to get it centered and bottom on the mark. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Or you want to come around here? Maybe this might be best. Right there. I need to get this. Maybe here. Get this centered right there at the bottom of the gullet. So about what you do is you lower it down and you sort of move this bar back and forth. There we go, it's centered now. And keep rotating it around. Oh, by the way, this is electric. This is only hand crank for setup. And if you see the crawl coming down, it goes to the bottom of the tooth to push the saw this way to the right so that when it comes around and comes down, it should be to the right side for let's see, this side of the mark. It should be centered. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. this is going to be interesting, man. <laughs> yeah. You're good. You heading away now? I can try to go back to the other there side. There we go. feed knobs. This one, this one, and this one down here. The one down here controls the up and down motion of the prawl. This controls some of the forward motion, and this controls some of the down motion. Give it just a little bit more. Center it up again. forward enough and lands in the bottom of the gullet there and it looks like it's going so now that it's got it all set up we can turn the motor on and we watch it for a few and make sure it's landed in the right side because I noticed in some of the other saws they did before, there was a short tooth and the feed missed and it got off in sequence. filed on this angle. We have to switch the whole machine over to another 15 degrees on the back side of the machine here. And uh, first thing you need to do this with is a 9 16 inch wrench. And I'm going to have to go around the back here. And loosen this lever up here simple pull back and it's loose loosen this nut up 
Now, I don't know if you can see it here, but I made a black mark on the 15 degrees where you're supposed to bring the filing machine around to. Can you see that, Henry? Okay. And what you got to do is grab hold of it about here and here and just start pulling. And there is a uh, indicator on the back to let you know when you've got it in the right position. Pull the lever back like this to tighten it. Tighten the nut down here for your convenience. If you can't remember, it says 9 sixteenths on there. So you get the right range. Then you take the saw and push it through, clear the other end, back to your first mark. Now what's you're gonna to have to go through the whole process of setting up the feed because it's just a little bit different once you change the angles. And you can locate that on page 26 and 27 of the manual here. And 28 and 29. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we can get it to go down in that gullet there. And get it lined up. That correctly. Lucky it will. No, I need to add a little bit more speed to got it all set up now. We're going to run it by hand just a few more times. See how the file is, the mark there is hitting behind the mark this time. We go around, comes in, and then we turn it on. Thank you, Randy. 